Hey guys, Matt from NoobQuest.com here, just bringing you another update on the progress on my butterfly game. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these dev blogs, so there's been a lot that's changed in the game. Um, really happy with the progress I'm making, and so I'll just show you the current state of the gameplay, and then I'll talk you through some of the stuff that I've added. So. One of the things that I've added are procedurally generated levels. So it's selecting from a library of chunks and then assembling the level. I've added this machine gun weapon. My shield is currently broken. I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna, I am haven't gotten around to fixing it. So I just set the health amount really high. Normally I'm thinking you'll have something more like a thousand health I mean a hundred health right now it's set to a thousand so we've still got these homing missiles um, one of the changes that I made was that uh, the homing missiles are now physics based which is way way better um, I'm using a, a kind of a fake gravity script to pull there you can see them curving now that guy's dead um, and I'm using the same fake gravity script to pull these uh, little coin objects um, towards the player to collect them. Um, and the same if we kill an enemy. If we get close to the object, it'll zip into us. Just I found it was a little tricky flying in to collect those things. So I'm just getting started on a power-up um, kind of resource loot drop system. Um, and those the fact that it's dropping those coins is the first part of that. But there's going to be sort of more complex stuff dropping um, pretty soon, kind of in an RPG style. Um, I'm kind of realizing that this game is turning into an almost sort of like flying Diablo roguelike type of system with the procedurally generated levels and the kind of fighting and loot collecting mechanic, which I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of tuning and tweaking that needs to go on. There's a lot of glitches and bugs in here right now, but I'm just trying really hard to get to an overall version of the system that basically works. Um, this is what the shield looks like. It's just not working right now. Um, Anyway, I think that gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on here, but it's a lot of fun. It's really cool being able to drop into these levels and fly around and have them be different each time. I've only got a few, I think I've got like 10 different chunks right now that are all kind of similar, like a bunch of them are just different blocks of buildings. You can see there's two buildings, three buildings, somewhere there's four buildings, there's four buildings. Um, and eventually I'll make these more complex and then we've got the asteroid with the kind of action going on around it. Um, but uh, that's kind of the latest. So the big changes are adding uh, physics to the weapons, um, not using just kind of transform functions, and that just makes it a lot cooler. Uh, the item drops and then the procedurally generated levels. I'll just show you a little piece about that. Basically what I've got here is if we zoom out in the scene view, here is our grid of chunks. And what happens is Here's one chunk, and then the chunk has an array of prefabs, and the prefabs are in here, they're world chunks. So like, here's one, two buildings, right? So it's just a cube, a thousand unit cube with the two buildings in it. And then when you start um, at runtime, it picks a chunk from the array for each of these. So definitely not the most advanced procedural generated generation system, but uh, I'm pretty happy that I was able to get something working. This was inspired very heavily by De Derek Yu's comments on Spelunky, on how he generated the levels in Spelunky, um, which were based out of these kind of squares of stuff. And so I tried to take that and translate it into a 3D world um, and I can do a little bit more sort of detailed tutorial on how that worked um, if you'd like to hear about that or if you'd like to hear about how I did the physics for the homing missiles or the gravity item pickups or any of the kind of things in here uh, leave me a comment 
uh, either on the YouTube channel or on the blog at noobquest.com. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I am planning to start doing a couple little tutorials on, on some of those components, uh, depending on what people are interested in, and I'll post the scripts as well. So thanks again for watching.